Hi, welcome to The Alexa Show, a new web series about cooking with tea, only on The Daily Tea. Today, I'm making an Oriental Beauty Oolong and Stone Fruit Couscous. So, if you're not familiar with an Oriental Beauty Oolong tea, it's a traditional Taiwanese tea. It's also known as Dong Fang Mei Ren, and it's woodsy with hints of honey and stone fruit. And we're actually gonna be adding stone fruit to this recipe. So it's the perfect tea to complement everything else that's going in the couscous. We're gonna use the tea in two ways. The first way is that we're going to make a concentrate. So we're gonna have a little bit more tea to water ratio, and then we're going to use that tea to rehydrate the dried stone fruit that we have here, and then also use it as a broth to cook the couscous. So it's tea and always. So let's get started by looking at the ingredients. We have four tablespoons of butter, a half a cup of shallots, and we're using shallots because they're a little bit more mild than onions, one and a half cups of couscous, then we're going to use two thirds of a cup of dried apricots and one third of a cup of dried cherries. You can really use any stone fruit or dried fruit that you like. I'm just using these because they complement the flavors in the tea. Then we have a cup of sliced almonds, two tablespoons of tarragon, but you can use any fresh herb that you like, one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, and then we have three cups of the oolong tea concentrate. So to make the concentrate, you're going to steep four tablespoons of the Oriental Beauty oolong in three cups of water that have been heated to 190 degrees and just let that steep for three minutes and then just strain the leaves. So let's get cooking. So now just strain the oolong tea leaves from the oolong tea concentrate. Then you're going to take the dried apricots and add them into a bowl. Top it off with the dried cherries. Want to make sure you get every last one. Then we're going to take the oolong tea concentrate and pour it right over the dried fruit to rehydrate them and also infuse the oolong tea with more stone fruit notes that are naturally occurring in the tea. And then just let it infuse for 15 minutes. So now that the dried fruit has finished infusing in the oolong tea, let's go ahead and strain it. Just pour in. I actually have a strainer in this bowl so I can take the fruit right out. Okay. You want to make sure to reserve the tea that's been infused with the stone fruit because we're going to use that to cook the couscous. Okay, so now pull this adorable little strainer out of the broth, pour it onto a plate, and then top with balsamic vinegar. This is going to add a bright acid note to the couscous. So now we're going to toast our almonds over medium-low heat. Just pour them right into the pan. And what this is going to do, it's going to add a bit of crunch to the couscous and add a really lovely toasted almond flavor to the couscous. So you just want to swirl them around so they don't burn. And you just want to wait till they just start to lightly brown. Okay, so we finished toasting the almonds and you know when they're done when you can really start to smell that nutty aroma. So just take it off the heat and then we're just gonna pour them into a bowl. We don't wanna get any on the stove. <laughs> Already got one on the stove. Um, and then you just wanna put them to the side and let them cool so that you can add them to the couscous. Okay, so now we have a medium pot. I've heated it over about you know medium, medium high heat. We're going to add our four tablespoons of butter right in there. So now we're just gonna wait for the butter to completely melt gonna give it a little push and this is going to just add some savory notes to balance out the sweetness that we've added with the balsamic vinegar and the dried fruit okay so now that that's melted we're going to add a half cup of the shallot and again we're using a shallot instead of an onion because it's a little bit more mild so it's going to let all of the other other flavors shine so just add that right into the butter okay Perfect, and now we just wanna cook that for about two minutes or until translucent. Mm. Is there anything better than the smell of butter and shallots on a stove? I don't think so. We finished cooking the shallots, so now we wanna add the oolong tea that we've infused with the dried apricots and cherries. So we're gonna pour that into the shallot and butter. And now we just want to raise the heat because we want to bring it to a boil so that we can cook the couscous. Okay, so now that the oolong tea has come to a boil, just take off the lid. Then 
we're going to add our couscous right in. Perfect. So the oolong tea is actually the broth that's going to cook the couscous and the couscous is going to absorb all of the flavors that we've developed with the stone fruit and the butter and the shallots. It's gonna be delicious. So pour it right in. Give it a little stir to make sure that the couscous is completely covered. And then you just want to cover it, move it off the heat and let it sit for five to seven minutes or until the couscous has completely absorbed the oolong. The couscous has finished cooking. It's absorbed all of the lovely oolong flavors, the stone fruit, the woodsy, the honey, and the butter and the shallots. So we just need to fluff with a fork. And this is really just making it a little bit lighter, if not as dense when it's cooking. Okay. Oh my God, this smells so good. Then add the fluffed couscous to a bowl. And then mix in the toasted almonds. And they're gonna add a nice crunch to the couscous. Next, add in the dried cherries and apricots that have been rehydrated with the oolong tea and drizzled with the balsamic vinegar. So these are gonna add a nice sweet note and also reinforce the oolong taste. Give that a little mix. I'm going to add two tablespoons of fresh tarragon that have been roughly chopped. You can use any herb that you like. In this case, I just really like tarragon. Give that another little mix. And then salt and pepper to taste. Now it's time for a taste, my favorite part. Mm. You get the sweetness from the dried apricots and cherries the freshness from the herbs, the buttery shallots, and that couscous, oh my God, it's absorbed all of the oolong, nutty, nutty almonds. It is the perfect bite. So serve it warm or pop it in the fridge in an airtight container because it makes the perfect picnic food. Get the full recipe for the Oriental Beauty Oolong and Stone Fruit Couscous on The Daily Tea and check back soon for more episodes of The Alexa Show all summer long. If you enjoyed this episode, Download the recipe for free on The Daily Tea.